guys, going over a couple builds. I'm going to do it as a group because uh, this was uh, a best man and a couple. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, a groom and a couple best men. So one of them's not technically ready, but we'll show that one off as well. But I wanted to do a video for all three of them. So the primary build, uh, all these builds are exactly the same except for uh, two of them are one color and one's another color. So Tristan himself, he's got the purple one. We did a purple diver insert on that uh, silver handset with a custom painted second sand. We got a purple background that we kind of, after we painted, kind of wiped it off so that it stayed, you know, uh, brighter around the edges, you know, where the paint could not wipe out. So every single one of them's got the uh, first name initial and the wedding date that hasn't happened yet. So since this one is a purple one, we went with purple stitch on this Horween leather, purple keeper there, and Kraken engraved. And then these are all with a tall coin, which is like partially polished on the bottom, uh, and then polished around the lip. Good looking, uh, good looking bezel, one of my favorites. All these, since they were dress watches, I did a small exhibition case back, um, small window. I'll have a stainless steel movement holder. Now his has a silver rotor, whereas all the rest of them will have a black rotor in them. Okay, so just a little, little uh, change on there. So uh, swapped the rotor colors, swapped the second hand color, background color, uh, stitching, and the insert, you know, as well as the initial here. So that's his build. So to show you the same on the green one, all green, painted the same way. Green insert, same style as a diver. Uh, initial there, that black rotor I referenced. And then it's kind of actually hard to see this green because it looks like it's brown, but I promise you it's green. In real life, it's green. There you go. You can kind of see it right there on that. And there where it's balled up a little bit more. So uh, the one that we don't have done, I noticed there was a, uh, a scuff in the uh, in the bezel insert. So I ordered another one. So it's ready to go other than I need to peel that off and put a bezel insert in there. So um, it'll be the same. There's the S on there. There's that black rotor. There's the date. Green stitch. So those two are identical other than the initials and obviously at this point without the insert so I should have the insert in a few days but I wanted to get a video with all three of them together uh, instead of a separate video and then I'll take pictures of this one by itself but um, obviously it's beads and matching box and I don't know what it was focused on there apparently nothing so um, there's the box setups on them so I, I always go over how the build works itself Still, once again, focused on nothing. Um, all these have a bezel that can turn this way and can turn that way, but does not click. I put them on a little bit tighter. This is a tighter bezel insert, um, so it'll be a little bit tougher to push it on its own. Uh, these are automatic mechanical, so you can wear them, you can wind them, you can put them in a watch winder. Uh, but if they're completely dead, before you put them on, give them some pre-wind. If you're not going to be very active at your job or wherever you're going, pre-wind them a little bit just so you're not losing any time. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking you feel some play. You know it's off those threads. At that point, you can wind. And the wind is that direction, backwards. It doesn't hurt it to go the other way. And you can keep your fingers spaced off of it. So I just go back and forth. If you do it for about four seconds before you put it on, you will keep time throughout the day, even if you're not very active. And if you do it something closer to 20 seconds, which will max out your 31 hour power reserve, you can have it ready for the next day, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, you cannot overwind it, so you can wind it all day. If you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set the time. And you're kind of pulling as you do it, and you'll notice you've got some play in the crown. You've got a wobble crown. It's deflecting lateral pressure on that stem, not transferring into it. You kind of pull as you're setting it. You can go from winding it to setting it, but you cannot go from setting back to wind. You have to screw it back down and uh, disengage the clutch system. And then you can uh, bring it back out. Okay, Google, what time is it? 4.57 p.m. 
24, 57 p.m. Also makes it nice and easy to push right over and thread down. So those are your builds as a whole, sir. Um, your build, your boy's build, and your other boy's build. So they've kept time uh, well. I think actually the only one that was a little off was yours. I think it was running just a hair too quick. So I might uh, flip it back and, and tone it down a bit. I think it was like two minutes in front of those ones. Um, but uh, the regulator to do that. You see that hand right here that's going that direction. You just push it back some. Even though they appear to be pointed about the same, you can tell that one's pointed a little bit more up than that one. Wow, I can't focus because I can't touch my screen because I'm holding something. So, you can see that one's more up and down, that one's pointed out a little bit more. But uh, I'll back that one back just a little bit, should do it. Tiny bump will do it. But uh, those are your builds, sir, as a whole. Hopefully you love them and your guys like them. Uh, once I get that other insert, I'll pop it in there. I'll take pictures of his. I have not done all his pictures yet, obviously. And uh, nor his initial pictures, um, since I can't take that first picture, um, that first presentation picture of it built. But uh, those are the builds, man. Uh, in theory, I will be sending them out Friday. Um, we have all your build cards inside, except for that one, since we made an adjustment on there. Um, but uh, so you'll, those ones will have it, and then as soon as I get this one, I'll send it out separate to you. So you should get it plenty of time. You'll be able to wind them up, verify everything's peachy with them, as I've done myself, uh, before you pass them out. So thank you so much for your support and thinking of me to buying, uh, you know, buying those. Uh, uh, for your wedding and I uh, appreciate uh, the thought a ton so uh, if you want me to bug you something custom and unique reach out granted his uh, boys watches are not unique but they still kind of are unique those green backgrounds are not exactly the same if you want to do that and the, obviously the crowns are separate but this was a special occasion and I was doing a mimic for somebody specifically if I build you a watch and somebody else wants your watch I'm not going to build them your watch so that's your watch. But uh, this is for uh, both of them, and uh, normally there's nothing mimicked. But uh, appreciate everything, man. If you want me to bug you something custom unique, reach out. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.